Attack on Titan, 10 characters Reiner could destroy. With the immense power of the armored Titan, Reiner could easily take down even some stronger characters in the Attack on Titan series. Reiner Braun was an early antagonist in the Attack on Titan universe and assumed a more heroic role toward the end of the series. As the armored Titan, he was strong enough to crush walls by ramming into them and could even throw pure Titans hundreds of feet with a single thrust. Given his insanely high physical strength and impervious iron body, there are many characters that Reiner could destroy within the series. By identifying them, we can better appreciate the power of the armored titan and how it is not to be taken lightly. Warning, this article contains manga spoilers. 10. Baron Kruger did not have his successor's experience or hardening abilities. Aaron Kruger proved his strength as a titan shifter by destroying an entire boat over his back. This illustrates a reasonable amount of familiarity with his abilities and entails he could challenge Reiner in the matter of brute force. However, Kruger lacks Aaron's combat prowess and hardening skill, both utilities that his successor needed in the fight against the armored titan. Consequently, he is unprepared to face Reiner since he can't quickly breach his defenses. 9. Flock was only able to challenge Reiner with Yeagerist reinforcements. Flock's access to Thunder Spears grants him a serious advantage since it means he can break Reiner's armor and meaningfully fight back against him. However, he is still relatively inexperienced compared to the scouts Reiner has faced directly including Mikasa and Levi. The villain was only moderately successful against Reiner during their cannon fight due to his Yeagerist reinforcements. In an individual battle, Reiner would be more than capable of surviving the few Thunder Spears Flock can carry without compromising his mobility. 8. Peak has no hardening ability therefore couldn't scratch Reiner. Unlike most of the series' other Titan shifters, Peak has no hardening ability. Although her jaws are still somewhat powerful capable of ripping through the nape of the Warhammer Titan in the final battle against Eren. Reiner's plates are far too reinforced for them to dent. Peak's only chance against Reiner is if she continuously attempts to flee and utilizes her high endurance to her fullest advantage. However, this strategy would be ineffective in the crowded areas where they'd likely fight, such as the capital of Marley or Parody. 7. Sasha's arrows lack explosive force would be useless against armored plates. Sasha proved remarkably skilled with a bow and arrows, managing to shoot down Kenny's anti-ODM squad and even dozens of trained Marleyan soldiers. However, Reiner's plates provide an active impervious shell to protect his nape, making Sasha's precision almost worthless. While she might be able to shoot out the shifter's eye if she's extremely lucky, the scout would still have nothing to defeat him with after he was momentarily disoriented. Additionally, Sasha isn't likely to manage two consecutively accurate shots in the midst of Reiner's charge and would be flattened instead. 6. Porco has the means to break Reiner's armor but couldn't actually reach him. Porco's jaw titan was one of the most deadly offensive characters in the series, capable of shattering Lara Tiber's war hammer crystal in a matter of seconds. It follows that he could crack Reiner's armor with similar, if not greater, ease. However, the armored titan is exactly three times taller than him and powerful enough to throw a tank. Considering this, he could capitalize on Porco's low durability, striking him down with a single punch in the midst of his voracious lunge. 5. Hang is a genius at using thunder spears but still lacks firepower against Reiner. During the second battle for Shiganshina, it took three thunder spears to defeat Reiner. Two to dislocate both sides of his jaw and one to throw down his mouth. As talented with explosive projectiles as Hang might be, they have never demonstrated a capacity to use that many thunder spears at once without severely limiting their mobility. Even if they manage to connect a bolt near the nape of his neck, 
Reiner could still capitalize on their limited experience with ODM gear to swat them out of the sky proven through their failure against Kenny's military police. 4. Dina Fritz was abnormally strong for a pure titan but still couldn't break Reiner's body. Dina Fritz was unusually agile and powerful for a pure titan. She managed to devour Hannes, despite his years of training and status as a renowned garrison regiment soldier. Moreover, she briefly resisted dozens of her titan brethren before being eaten herself. Regardless of her abnormal strength, Dina has no means of puncturing Reiner's armored plates. Even if she could, Reiner was still powerful enough to smash off her lower jaw or simply throw her hundreds of feet as he did in his battles against Aaron. 3. Grisha Jaeger didn't have his son's hardening or tenacity. In theory, Grisha Jaeger would provide a sound challenge for Reiner. He was strong enough to overpower Frida Rice and possesses two titan shifting abilities simultaneously. However, his attack titan does not have his son's hardening ability, and he cannot use the power of the founder since he isn't a member of the royal bloodline. Moreover, his straightforward approach to fighting would play to Reiner's advantage and result in a brutally one-sided fight. 2. Falco's mobility would be useless without getting in range of Reiner's reach. Falco's Titan was the most nimble and agile of the series shifters, with its ability to fly giving it a distinct advantage over previous jaw users like Porco, Emer, and Marcel. In theory, this means that he would have an easier time dodging Reiner's attacks since he could simply stay out of his grasp. However, Falco has no means of harming the armored titan without getting in close. Where Reiner has a distinct advantage of reach with his taller size. Moreover, given how proficient Reiner was at throwing a tank in the battle for Fort Slava, it follows that he could use other projectiles to bring the flying titan down similarly to Zeke if necessary. 1. Mishi never used thunder spears, making his high experience alertness worthless. As humanity's second greatest soldier, one might suspect Mishi to have decent odds against Reiner. However, even if he was outfitted with the best weapons in parody armories, he couldn't bring the armored titan down. This is mostly because he has never used a thunder spear before and showed poor adaptive skills in his battle against Zeke. As a result, Mishi wouldn't use the explosives properly in an impromptu duel against Reiner, instead dying brutally for his inexperience. 